Say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. Hey everybody, welcome back to Up on the Popcorn. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. And today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be ranking uh, my least favorite, true favorite of the Breaking Bad series. I'm fifth place, which possibly was like the easiest one of all the five to kind of categorize uh for me personally was season two they get introduced to quite a few characters here in season two which included hector uh jane uh, mike gus and saul hank accidentally uh finds crazy ass tuco they're in the shootout and uh hank ultimately ends up killing tuco where we find out about rice and you know this later comes out later on in season Four, I believe, when four and five, he had, again, you know, surfaced back up. He ends up getting kicked out of his uh, aunt's house by his parents and ends up moving into this um, house where he meets Jane. There's this part actually when Jane and Jesse were talking about, you know, their drawings and superheroes and how, you know, she would like to be a superhero. And I'm just like, you're gonna be a superhero later on in life. Yeah. Like this video if you were a fan of Jessica Jones and like this video if you were sad that it got canceled. Moving back on to. Breaking Bad. Of course, you know, Jane ended up Dean here. Walter could have easily have saved her, but decided not to. I think it's possibly the only season that Walter did not kill anybody. Well, technically didn't kill anybody because, I don't know, do we count Jane as somebody that he killed? I mean, she technically did OD, right? But he was there. And all he had to do was just, like, roll her over so she wouldn't choke on her vomit so it's like you let her die which obviously he does you know he admits it so it's just like huh like there goes jane so in the consequences of him letting jane died these hundreds of people in the airplane died so do we classify these as being walter's fault of dying let me know down below so in fourth place would be season one um uh, this is where we of course got introduced to all the characters this is where we find out that walter has this very like aggressive lung cancer that right along with hank who is his bro dea brother-in-law which he didn't tends to mention a lot hank my dea brother-in-law his way in the car to get the clear from hank that it's okay for him to go check out the lab is where you know he sees jesse and he of course recognizes him because he used to be a former student that they're gonna make the purest of meth that there is not like that cheap generic mediocre meth no his goal was to make the best meth that there is on the market we get walter's first two kills this is also <laughs> Um, where we learn how to get rid of a body because of the show is why I'm always like saying um I watch Breaking Bad I know how to get rid of a body okay so like watch out like this video if you ever said that before <laughs> at the end of the season is where we got introduced to Tuco there at the end which I'm pretty sure if I'm pinpointing it correctly in uh, Walter decided that this is when he's doing it for himself because he liked it he liked the adrenaline rush he liked the high of this um was when of course you know he blew up Tuko's um office <laughs> i don't know what the hell it was the badass version of walter white or heisenberg at that point um and you really get to know throughout the series really do get to see the difference and know when heisenberg is out and when walter white because they are two completely different it's almost like he's a little bit bipolar but it really you really do see it where he's just like the scared like chemistry teacher that is just like oh and then you get this like killer over here that's like third place would be season four when the money laundering began this is when gus no longer started trusting walter i think also um starts suspecting gus um that he's not the upright samaritan that everybody believes that he is and he's not just the local um owner of pollos hermanos but this king pen meth dealer because of the money laundering is also when skylar actually volunteers to start working uh walter's books because she is technically a bookkeeper and this is probably my favorite like death scene throughout the whole series yes it was i'm trying to think about it but yes it really was <laughs> 
Gus walks out like a G, right? You think he's fine. You see one side of him and he walks out, stops. And then the camera pans. The whole freaking side of his face is like gone. Like you see his bones. Like his eye sockets are no longer there, people. Like this video, that was your favorite death scene because like, that was awesome. When the ricin pops up again. We also get uh, Walter killing two more people. Before I give you my final two rankings, let me know down below how you guys rank this series. Obviously, we're going to have disagreements. Obviously, my list is going to be different from your list. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Coming in and f*** would be season five. Final season. I don't know. A lot of some people like to put this into like two parts, season five and the final season. I'm just classifying it all as season five. Five. So we do have them cooking again after you know they blew up the lab but this time they do find they have to find like a different place so they did go into the pest control business um they did do that train robbery uh which was actually really really cool and it's where we actually got introduced to todd and his uncles as well skylar started to really kind of really lose it and really started to go into like a deep depression throughout the whole series um you would think he would be a little bit more used to i guess the dead bodies but i mean i guess one can never really get used to all the killing and everything i mean walter really handles it very well i mean at this point i don't even know how many bodies there were um i to tally up for him he was born to be i guess is like awesome meth cook and then also be a murderer and take care of business i'm so sorry do you guys hear all the still going Besides uh, Todd and the uncles, we also meet uh, Lydia in this season. Walt and Lydia end up making a deal to get his product overseas to the Czech Republic. When they win and they laid on that money, like, no joke, I would have done that too. No joke, I so like this video if you would have done that too. Also, Pinkman does find out about Brock, uh, that he was poisoned uh, by uh, Walter. Pink ends up finding out while he's taking the shit that Walter, his brother-in-law, is in fact Heisenberg, the man that he has been looking for since season one. Pink officially captures Walter. This big like shootout. Gomez ends up dying in the shootout. Hank is shot. There was already a hole there. They ended up throwing Gomez and Hank in the hole. We're going to kill Jesse, but Todd um, ended up convincing the uncle to keep him around. And at this point is when uh, Walter confesses to Jesse about Jane. When Jesse tried to escape. They did take him over to Andrea's house and Todd ended up killing Andrea in front of Jesse. Well, not necessarily in front, but they did make him watch. He was in the car waiting. We all assumed that he dies at the end of the series, but you know, he's just kind of laying there dying but at that point the police come so it's kind of like are you dead like let me know down below what do you guys think that voice there at the end of the pre of the trailer it sounds like it could possibly be him so my number one pick would be season three uh this obviously when skylar ends up kicking um watcher out of the house after he's had his surgery where we get tuko's cousins who like never really talk and then of course you know they had the freaky santissima muerte on their side i mean i am not i don't want to talk shit about that let's move on because that's some scary stuff Tyler ends up finding out that walter is involved with drugs just makes walter the three million dollars for three months offer when the new lab comes into play and of course the new assistant cousins um they try to kill walter but gus doesn't let them at this point jesse ends up working with walter again well jesse leaves all the time you guys so i think like each season he would leave and then he would ultimately come back so walter kills another two people in this season and then um of course there how the season ended was with jesse killing his first victim which was um <laughs> Walter's a new lab assistant um all because Gus was ultimately trying to kill Walter and Jesse so they kind of need to get rid of the only other chemist that was around that knew his recipe and who could still do the product it's kind of like we gotta do again what we gotta do yeah, right? this is how I rank um 
the five seasons of Breaking Bad. I may have had a little bit more to say on season five, but season three was still my favorite. So yeah, bitch. I'm looking forward to El Camino coming out this Friday on Netflix. And also on a side note, I tried very hard to keep my hands down here. So if I looked a little bit off, more than usual, I was really trying to concentrate on leaving my hands then at the bottom and not having them up here like I normally do. But just know that the hand movements is who I am. That's literally how I talk normally, not just on camera. Before you get out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to be notified each time that I post something new. And until next time, I'll be seeing you guys at concessions. Bye.